Need that rain. Yes, sir, we do. If there's anyone hoping and praying that this year's rainy monsoon season outlook pans out, it's Tom Sidwell. He lives with and sees our dried up grazing lands firsthand, and he says the drought is starting to affect our cattle ranchers' herd counts. A lot of ranchers are beginning to destock. They're beginning to sell some of the older end of their cows. They're beginning to sell um, replacement heifers. And it's on the brink of getting really bad if the monsoons don't come to the rescue. And so I would say that we are probably 45 days from that critical point. If we don't start getting some monsoon moisture, there's going to be some ranchers that are out of grass that will start selling more and more. Without much spring prairie grass growth because of the drought, ranchers find themselves in a tough spot right now. Hay is precious and stored carefully, used sparingly because it's getting tough to come by. Hay supplies are short uh, right now. Prices are higher. We, we may see hay production go down pretty significantly and hay prices go up. While the stress level in cattle country is increasing, we may not feel it at the grocery store, at least initially, because ranchers are bringing plenty of cattle to the market right now and may look to sell even more if the drought continues. I think that probably the prices at the grocery store will say, stay pretty much the same. On the Drought Watch, I'm meteorologist Eric Green, KOAT Action 7 News.